Hi art friends, welcome back to the Artifacts 23 studio where I share a variety of art related content with you and always encourage you to follow your art. In this video I am taking you down my art hall of shame. So today I want to go back in time a little bit and show you some of the art that I made when I just started out about 20 odd years ago. Some are cringeworthy, I promise you. Every single time you draw or paint or create anything, you learn something new as well as improve on the skills that you already have. And that is actually the point of this video. So what I've learned along my journey is not to criticize too harshly the art that I'm producing at that point in time. I did the best that I could with the amount of skill that I have accumulated up until then. And the older art pieces aren't mistakes. They are lessons and practice pieces for the next piece and the next one. So even though I titled this video my Hall of Shame, it's really all about where I started and where I am in my art journey right now. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Yikes. Um, <laughs> so this, um, yeah, I think this was actually watercolor pencil, um, watercolor pencil that I tried. Um, my goodness, on printer paper, don't ever, ever uh, paint on printer paper. Um, obviously, I was just practicing at that stage. You can see, you can see how the paper warped, what it looked like. Yeah, this was right in the beginning, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, an attempt at sunflowers in watercolors. I really, really enjoyed water, watercolors at that stage. Um, and to be honest, that's still my favorite. If you follow me here on YouTube, you will know. Um, so yeah, really, really, and this is actually the extent of my um, of my drawing skills. This was twenty odd years ago, guys. Look at this shame. And I attempted the watercolor there again. But you have to start somewhere. Good grief, look at this. <laughs> yeah. um, still watercolor. This was actually on better paper. Still drawing skills not quite there yet. And um, oh, this was a, actually a practice piece in art class. Hmm, maybe not too bad and um, yeah also on better paper but yeah like you seen like you like you can see absolutely no contrast yeah what can I say um, I think this was actually also on printer paper like I say cringeworthy another one that um, I did in art class Yes, um, this is all still water watercolors. This one is just um, one that I did from the top of my head, um, just experimenting with some still life, still um, with the watercolors. Yeah, and another um, project for art class. I actually still have the <laughs> original. Um, the reference photo for this one. I think it came from a magazine or something. Yeah. Ugh. Cringy. <laughs> yeah. Look at the paper there. Also, obviously not watercolor paper. Um, but yes. And this is actually, it looks like cardstock or something. I have no idea why I would paint on that. But also, um, yeah. No contrast, no depth, no um, perspective. But I practice is practice. <laughs> um, this one also, I think, um, an art class project. Yeah. Look at look at the water and the sky. Um, I was attempting to lift 
um, some pigment for the clouds. I think the boat's not too bad, but ew, the rest, shaky. <laughs> oh, uh, also another one, just a picture from a magazine, again on that weird cardstock paper. Yeah. And um, I think this was a little bit later on. And also from imagination, I think. I can't remember. This one has faded. It was actually framed. Um, that This is actually the first one that I really thought... I'm actually quite proud of this one. Um, the way I was able to get... Um, um, I, I, the way I was able to do some flow work with the watercolors. And you can see there um, where I started realizing that you don't need to cover everything with watercolor and um, yeah it looked better 20 years ago so I think these are a couple of um, pencil and um, colored pencil pieces that I that I did really not good yikes <laughs> again on that weird cardstock what was I thinking good grief Oh my word, I think this was actually 2002, my attempt at a face, yikes, goodness gracious, <laughs> um, these were all pencil, um, pencil exercises for art class, yeah, um, we'll just move through it quickly. You can see these were entered into an um, art um, exhibition. That's where that came from. I just never... Again, on printer paper. Goodness me. Uh, just colored pencil work. My goodness gracious, can you look at this? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely no yeah shame but you know I, I actually think the eyes are not too bad here for this one um it's supposed to be a leopard um but i think the i think i think the proportions are off um and so on but yeah this was 2009 actually yeah long time ago my attempt at an eye everybody do you remember that stage when everybody was drawing eyes and um yeah i did this one um this was actually i think it's charcoal a uh, colored charcoal or something yeah Ugh. then uh, some acrylic works uh, it's um this is actually canvas paper um yeah really not good I struggled with backgrounds back then um, this is 2013 and um, yeah obviously can't do anything what is this this is just looking scary goodness me but anyway <laughs> this is acrylic on on that canvas paper I don't know what happened there um, I think this was a practice piece for a bigger canvas actually yeah Ugh goodness me yeah and then um, that was also a uh, one that we did for art class um, where we had to do four seasons on one page and so on let me show you some of my some of the more recent ones um, yeah let's see how how I have progressed um, still I think this was I think this was 2012 maybe 2014 this is um water water um graphite yeah small piece this is actually i will link it in the description box below or at the top of the screen yeah um this is actually a tutorial i did for youtube one of my very first ones this is colored pencil on black paper yeah a few years ago this is um, pastel pencil on black paper. Yes, and um, also pastels. No, sorry, this is charcoal actually, and 
the colored um, area is with the pastel pencils on um, is it black paper no white paper this is a piece um, I did with pastel pencils one of my very first ones actually um, reference photo by Steve Bailey of Steve Bailey photography I will link um, I will link up um, to his profile in the description box uh, it could be better you know okay um, and another piece I did um, also in this is actually graphite pencil I went very dark so look at that shine Yay. still have a lot to learn there I don't remember when this was actually but also more than 10 years ago I'm sure um, some this is some watercolor ones that I um, I actually remember this one we were on holiday somewhere and I was just quickly drawing um, things that I saw or that I had time to quickly draw this shell um, also watercolor you can see that the watercolor here my watercolor work here um, started showing some um, potential Uh, an attempt at a self-portrait actually on the same holiday this picture was taken on the same holiday as that shell one <laughs> 2013 I think yeah uh, this was a YouTube tutorial I will link it in the description box uh, or at the top here and also some small ones here this is one that's not too good there's no contrast here no highlights or anything but anyway, some more small ones. Um, oops, it's upside down. <laughs> yeah. Also another one that I did on that holiday. I, I, stopped, I, I stopped putting in the date. So I need to go back on my Instagram feed <laughs> um, and see when I posted this. And this is also from that holiday. This was the view from the room. There's a lighthouse there. And another elephant. I like these small ones. And here you can see this much improvement. Yeah, I really like this one. I like this one too. Two lambs. This is actually a photo that I took yeah cute and a little nest that i picked up and just decided i had to draw it it was actually small it was it was actually like just this tiny the little nest and then i made the picture um yeah watercolor cheetah and a street scene in paris i think <laughs> yeah yeah so i hope you enjoyed my um my little trip down memory lane um with my hall of shame <laughs> so don't trash anything you make keep it learn from it and treasure it be proud of the wonderful artist that you are and of where you are in your art journey i really hope you liked this video and that you might even find it helpful in your daily art endeavors Remember to follow your art and I will see you next time.